my name's Liz, I'm the Baker That Sews. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you are a subscriber. As always, it's really lovely to have you here as I share my sewing journey. So welcome back to my channel. Today is day one of Vlogmas and I'm really excited to be taking part in this again. I took part last year for the first time, kind of muddled my way through, but I did really, really enjoy taking part. So I'm planning to try and film a video every day. Um, for that reason, um, my videos probably are going to be quite rustic and quite thrown together. I'm hoping that I can film this introduction video without having to edit it too much. Um, I am probably going to have to film them in the evenings because I don't think I'm going to get a chance to film them any other time. Um, I've got a busy couple of weeks in the run up to Christmas. I'm an early years teacher if you don't know already um, and we're busy practicing for the Christmas show and there's just lots of really fun things that are happening at school. So it just means that my days are quite long and very busy. I am this evening currently in the middle of baking because I've got a Christmas fair at a local school which I'm really looking forward to taking part in tomorrow and one of the things that I thought I would share with you today is a recipe. So I asked over on Instagram um, what you would like to see in Vlogmas and lots of people asked for recipes. So I thought I would share a recipe in this video today. Um, before I get into all of that, I'll let you know what I'm wearing. And this is a relatively new make. It's something that I'm going to talk about more in my Sunday sewing catch-up. And I am back at the weekend with a Sunday sewing catch-up. I have missed filming my videos in the last couple of weeks. I've just had a really busy couple of weeks with family things, but also markets and fairs and things. So I just haven't had time uh, to fit in any sewing, really, or any filming. So I am wearing the Nina Lee Carmel jumpsuit and it's made in the latest So Heavy Jane fabric, this gorgeous rainbow tartan. So I'll stand up, I won't be able to put a picture in because it's too dark to get pictures, but I've gone for the scoop neck version um, and I have put pockets in. Um, the bodice section is fully lined, so you can just see it's the same fabric on the inside and then that's what the back looks like. It's got an invisible zip. Um, and then the trousers are fairly wide-legged, but I really like um, that sort of style. So I wore them to work today and they were super duper comfortable. We had our dress rehearsal today for the nativity. Uh, the children were amazing. They've done so well learning the songs and we're doing the show next week for family. So we can't wait to do that. And uh, the children got to dress up today and they were super excited with all of their costumes on and things. So that is what I'm wearing. Um, so last year I really enjoyed sharing my advent calendar with you. I had a sewing themed advent calendar. This year I haven't gone down the sewing themed route. They were fairly pricey and I treated myself last year. I got the Kylie and Machine labels advent calendar but I've still got loads of the labels in my stash and I just didn't really feel like this year I could justify buying one when I still had labels from last year's. So I don't have a sewing themed advent calendar. Um, I do have a Lego one. It's a Harry Potter one. We're massive Harry Potter fans in this house. Um, and I get a little figure and it, and it builds into a bigger sort of scene. So I'm not going to share my advent calendar with you today. But I did want to tell you, or, um, I said at the start of the video, that I would share a recipe with you. Um, in tomorrow's Vlogmas, I will take you along kind of to the fair and show you what it looks like set up and things. Um, but at the moment, I am just in the middle of baking. So I've got cupcakes on the go. Um, I've got, I'm trying to remember now, brown, I've literally just put them in the oven. Brownies, banana loaf, lemon loaf. Uh, what else am I doing? Oh, mince pie crumble slice, which is the recipe I wanted to share with you this evening. So I love a mince pie, really love a mince pie. Um, but instead of baking the mince pies with pastry, what I like to do is make something called a mince pie crumble slice. So you've got a shortbread biscuit on the bottom and then you put your mince meat filling, so your mince pie filling, and then on the top you make like a crumble. So it's flour, stalk, um, I put mixed spice on there um, and sugar and then you just like crumble it over the top of the mince meat filling and then you bake it in the oven and it's so delicious. It's so nice with the shortbread on the bottom and then that mince pie in the middle. So I will put the recipe down below, um, but you don't need too many things to make the mince pie crumble slice. So I thought I'd share the recipe with you now. So I'm gonna look down because I've got it written on the post-it notes in front of me. So you need 350 grams of plain flour, 220 grams of unsalted butter, and I prefer to use stalk, it's what Mary Berry uses, and I use it in all of my bakes. Um, then 100 grams of caster sugar or golden caster sugar, 
250 grams of minced meat and then a couple of teaspoons of mixed spice. So what you do is you measure out the flour the, and the sugar and the mixed spice and then you pop in the butter and then you use your fingers to sort of bind it together and make kind of almost like breadcrumb effect. Then with half of the mixture, you pop it into a lined tin, press it down so it's almost sort of all squished together. And then you bake it for 15 minutes in an oven that's 160 degrees fan. Um, bake it for 15 minutes or until it's golden brown. So I, I'd say I've been baking it more for sort of 20 minutes. It just depends on the heat of your oven. Once it's been baked and it's gone golden brown, take it out of the oven and then you pour on the mince meat, spread it out, make sure that it's all evenly distributed. And then with the remainder of like the crumble mixture, you um, use your hands to sort of just sprinkle it over the top of the mince meat and then you pop it back in the oven for another 15 minutes until it's nice and golden and crumbly. And then what I prefer to do is leave it, whoops, um, what I prefer to do is leave it for a little while before you chop it into slices and you just leave it to cool ever so slightly so it sort of all moulds together. I really love it with some double cream over the top, really delicious and a nice cup of tea. So that was the recipe I wanted to share with you today. I'm going to try and share lots of recipes across my vlogmases. Um, so the mince pie crumble is one that I have just popped in the oven and then I've come away to quickly film this video. Um, the children were really excited today because we decorated the school. So um, what we do with the children in the lead up to December is we usually have a story or um, a song or a film that inspires some artwork. So we've been using the snowman to inspire some artwork and all of the children in reception have worked together to make lots of different artwork. And then um, all of the teachers stay behind or, um, like the day before the 1st of December and we decorate the entire hall, we put the tree up, we decorate our classrooms. So when the children come in on the 1st of December, it's just like Christmas has exploded everywhere. And they were so excited seeing it today. It was so lovely. I do love being in school at this time of year. Um, and then I decorated the classroom for them. So we've got fairy lights and we've got a real tree in the classroom. And then I always leave out a tree that they can just decorate as much as they want to as well. So they've really enjoyed doing that. And then I've just got a Happy Land nativity scene that again, I set out on a little table for them um, so that they can play around with the nativity scene and the toys and things. And they've really enjoyed exploring that today as well. In these vlogmases, I will also try and share some of my favourite Christmas stories to share with children if you're interested in any stories. I've got loads of stories at school um, that I love getting out time and time again, so I will share them with the children as well. So before I finish my vlogmas, I thought I would share with you a couple of Christmassy makes that I've got planned for the next couple of days, and I'm hoping to get them sewn up, ready to wear to work next week. So I've got them cut out, I've had them cut out for ages. And it's using some really gorgeous Christmassy fabric. So here's the pocket cut out. So this is like a green background. You probably can't see the green. Um, with Christmas um, sort of houses and cars and the snow and there's trees and things. It's a really beautiful fabric. And then the other fabric that I've got is this um, jungle menagerie, I think it was called, or Christmas menagerie. So it's all animals and they've got like Christmas hats on and Christmas glasses and antlers and all kinds of festive things. So I'm gonna turn both of these beautiful fabrics into the Deer and Doe Myosotis dress, my favorite dress ever. Um, and I'm really looking forward to having a couple more Christmas dresses in my Christmas wardrobe. I've got all of my Christmas jumpers out and I'm really excited about going full on Christmas from next week. So that is day one of Vlogmas. I hope you've enjoyed hearing all the different things I wanted to share with you today. If you've got any questions for me throughout um, the month of Vlogmas, because I'm planning to film a video every day, then please pop your questions down below. And if there's anything in particular that you would like to see as I'm vlogging daily, please let me know down below as well. Um, the quality of these videos in terms of the lighting it is going to be a little bit darker than it normally is, just because I am generally going to be filming these videos in the evenings. Um, but thank you so much for coming back and watching my videos. I'm really enjoying getting back into vlogging. I've missed it whilst I've had a couple of weeks off YouTube. Um, but I will be back every day filming my vlogs videos. If you've enjoyed seeing my first one, please do give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, it'd be really great if you could hit that subscribe button. And I'll be back tomorrow with day two of Vlogmas. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.